How to rebuild the Thomas Model 107 vacuum pump. Woods Power Grip Stock Number 66130. Getting started. In order to rebuild this vacuum pump, you will need the correct repair kit, Woods Power Grip Stock Number 66195. This kit comes with two flap valves, a head gasket, and a diaphragm. You will also need the following tools, a 1 quarter inch flat blade screwdriver, a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, or a number 25 Torx driver, and a felt tipped marker, or a suitable substitute. In most cases, this pump can be rebuilt without removing it from the mounting location. Disconnect any hoses that are attached to the pump, noting their location for correct reassembly. Also note the orientation of the pump head and location of attached fittings for correct reassembly. Remove the four screws that secure the pump head using the flat bladed screwdriver or Torx driver. Lift the pump head off the vacuum pump. This exposes the diaphragm and the valve plate located inside the pump head. Replacing the diaphragm. Remove the four Phillips screws from the diaphragm retaining plate. Lift off the retaining plate and discard the old diaphragm. Place the new diaphragm on the top plate of the connecting rod aligning the four screw holes with the corresponding holes in the top plate. Reinstall the retaining plate, securing it in place with the original four retaining screws. Replacing the flap valves and the head gasket. The two flap valves are located on the valve plate one on the outside and one on the inside. To access the inside flap valve, the plate must be removed from the pump head. Before you remove the valve plate, mark its orientation in the pump head for correct reassembly. Remove the valve plate and discard the head gasket. Each flap valve is secured with a slotted screw and a small keeper plate. It is labeled up in the lower right hand corner. Note the orientation of the keeper plate for correct reassembly. Remove the slotted screws that secure the keeper plates and the flap valves to the valve plate. If the plate is corroded, Clean the surfaces with a mild abrasive, such as a Scotch-Brite pad, before installing the new flap valves. This will ensure that the flap valves fit flush against the plate when installed. Wipe off any remaining residue. Note: Be careful to avoid removing the alignment mark you made earlier on the valve plate. Install the new flap valves using the original screws and keeper plates installed in the correct orientation. Install the new gasket in the pump head and install the valve plate by aligning the mark made earlier. Secure the plate using the original four screws. Reinstall the pump head in its original position and secure it using the original four screws. Reattach the hoses in their original locations.
your pump is now ready to be tested and returned to service.